Coming up this week on the show, Bentley shows us what it's like inside the NBA bubble, Miles tries out a new local restaurant, and Bryn takes us to the perfect farm for fall. It's Friday, September 18th, and the buzz starts right now. Friday, Fort Mill. I'm Emma. And I'm Bella. Despite the rain this week, our fall athletes are off to a great start. Here's Delaney with sports. Hey, Fort Mill. I'm Delaney, and you're watching The Buzz Sports. <music> Girls Tennis had three matches this week. On Tuesday, they took on Gaffney and won 6-0. Wednesday, they challenged Rock Hill and won 5-1, and Thursday's match against NAFO was rained out. On Tuesday, girls volleyball took on York at home and won 3-0. On Wednesday, they traveled to Catawba Ridge and won in five sets, and on Thursday, they were on the road against Boiling Springs and won 3-0. The swim team competed against Northwestern Tuesday and beat out the Trojans, and on Thursday, they challenged Boiling Springs and Gaffney for their senior night and brought home another win. On Tuesday, Girls golf played against Northwestern and Catawba Ridge. The Lady Jackets beat Northwestern but came up short to Catawba Ridge. And this Saturday, cross country will compete at the Patriot Invite. Now let's go to Bentley for a look inside the NBA bubble. I'm Delaney reporting for the Buzz Sports. COVID-19 has obviously made sports look a little different this year. I took a look into how the NBA is making sports possible with the bubble an isolated quarantine that players and staff have to partake in for the duration of the playoffs. It's just a whole new world. I, I, re I had no idea where to go. I kept getting stopped by security because, you know, I was one step beyond the, the border that I can not go into. It was, it was um, a little overwhelming. TNT camera operator speaks on social injustice inside the bubble. Most was when the players decided to stop playing. After the devastating police shooting in Wisconsin, the NBA decided to postpone the games. We said, oh my God, they're not coming out. And we were able to watch the interaction from the players who all decided that they weren't going to play. You know, we, we, we didn't shoot a game that day. We had a, a march just to show, show support. This will actually be in part of that and being, being with, the, with the guys who are part of that was actually kind of special. The NBA has been so diligent and proactive in following the science and making sure that you do the things that we all know are good to help stop the spread of the virus. You know, Orlando is in the state of Florida, which is one of the hot spots in this country in terms of COVID spread. They have managed to keep it out of the bubble. Reporting for The Buzz, I'm Bentley. Thanks, Bentley. Sports isn't the only thing that will look different this year. With the 2020 election fast approaching, some of our seniors will be able to vote for the first time. Here's Nora with some info on how to cast your ballot this fall. The 2020 election is coming up quickly with in-person voting on Tuesday, November 3rd. If you will be 18 years old on election day, you can register to vote online up until Sunday, October 4th. If in-person voting is not an option for you or someone in your family, you can request a mail-in ballot through scvotes.gov. Mail ballots can be received up until Friday, October 30th. Fort Mill will not have school on election day, so make sure to vote. I'm Nora, reporting for The Buzz. Thanks, Nora. If you'll be 18 by November 3rd, make sure to register to vote to make your voice count. Switching gears now, there's a new local business with an unusual name. The 2020 Tavern opened up this year in Tiga K, and Miles took a drive there for this week's Small Business Spotlight. Thanks, guys. Local businesses all across the country right now are struggling due to recent social changes caused by COVID-19. I got the opportunity to talk with one of these local businesses. 2020 Tavern is a new local restaurant in Tiga K that offers a variety of entertainment and even an art class. We are people oriented. We're pet friendly. Uh, we just believe in uh, good food, good service, and great atmosphere. And everything else is a uh, no-brainer. 
I would oh, yeah. recommend it. I Definitely. like it, that it's an outdoor and sometimes a outdoor venue and sometimes um, it's it's like this, real peaceful and quiet. And, and they have and, live music sometimes and sometimes they don't, which is nice, and, whatever you're yeah. in the mood for. Oh, we have entertainment five nights a week. We uh, Friday night, Saturday night, we have a full piece bands. Sunday, we normally have a kakuzis. Uh, Tuesday night is our bike night. We have one two-piece bands, and then Wednesday is our wind down or the beginning of the weekend bands. She likes the wings. The wings are fantastic. She, the, we like the food. Food's very good. Even though 2020 Tavern opened during the pandemic, they're still finding creative ways to bring in business. We have all of our uh, seating six foot apart. We've also um, incorporated the uh, outside patio. You know, we're blessed. Business has been very well. Uh, it exceeded our expectation uh, tenfold already. If you are interested in great food or live entertainment, 2020 Tavern is open seven nights a week, located across the street from TKK Elementary. Reporting for The Buzz, I'm Miles. Thanks, Miles. I can't wait to try it out. I'm hoping the cooler weather we've had this week is here to stay. Me too. And we have so many great local farms to explore this season. Bryn takes a short road trip to show us where you can pick the perfect pumpkin. The Cotton Hills Farm Market in Lowry, South Carolina sells every type of seasonal good you can imagine. The produce is all grown locally. So our farm started about 1882. The first piece of property was a wedding gift from my great-great-great-grandfather to his uh, daughter and son-in-law, and they um, got married and built a house on the property, and I still live in the home that was built about 1880. Although coronavirus has affected many businesses, the staff at Con Hills say they still have plenty of visitors. Business has actually been really good this year. It's been one of our best years, surprisingly. I think most folks are really looking for fresh fruits and vegetables right now. They want to you know, feel like they're buying it from a safe location and from someone they can trust. And so we've actually had a pretty good season so far despite the uh, coronavirus. One thing that is different this year is the popular farm fair and fall tours have been canceled, but they're finding different ways for people to enjoy the farm. We did a you pick uh, strawberry patch and, you know, we encouraged everyone to find their little location and stay, you know, way apart from everyone else. Thankfully, the the patch is really large, so it's, it's not really an issue of folks getting too close. And we're going to do U-Pick Pumpkins too, we have a huge field. If you're looking for some fall fun, attend the U-Pick Pumpkins starting September 18th, only 2.6 miles north of the market. I'm Bryn, reporting for The Buzz. Thanks Bryn, that looks like a fun place to visit this weekend. That's all we have for you today. Be sure to follow us on social media to see more bonus videos throughout the week. Until next time, I'm Emma. And I'm Bella. Have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend for it, Mel. Oh, it's so darn loud out here. Talk about random stuff real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta look good. Sports isn't, sports isn't the only thing that'll look different this